fire signs Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look at and see um, what is the truth of this connection, okay? So what are their true feelings, their true intentions, what is this all about? It is going to be a general reading, so if you're after a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below. Okay, the truth is things are happening fast and someone is not okay with it, okay? Someone is definitely not okay with it. And if they say they are, possibly, it's possibly because they lie. They're not being honest with you in that regard. Mm -hmm. So the truth is there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of turmoil, a lot of turbulency. There's a lot of... Um, well, there's maybe not a lot of, but there's definitely some of lying. There's some lies, there's just some deception, there's some deceit. There's some of that. For some of you, it's a little. For others of you, it's a lot. It started off very quickly, didn't it? Okay, it's this, there's a lot of attraction, no doubt about it. You guys are very attracted to each other and you feel very connected in that way. But I feel like where the connection is struggling to move past those, you know, that initial stage of attraction, to move past that. And the reason it's struggling with that is because someone here has, you know, they're, they're very closed off. Emotionally, they're very closed off to opening themselves up, to becoming vulnerable, to bringing down their walls or their guard up. So their guard down, they have their guard up. They don't want to bring their guard down. Why? Well, maybe they've done so in their past and it hasn't worked out too well for them. They've been hurt. They've been cheated on. They've been betrayed. They've had the heart broken. So why would they want to repeat that experience all over again? Um, or it could be that, you know, from the get-go, their intentions with you are not as honest or not as straightforward as you'd like. So it happened very quickly and it does, in a way, because of the energy, see, it does give me the impression that the two of you, it just, you moved too quickly, okay, just way too quickly and it somehow, I'm going to say hindered or somehow even it is has or is sabotaging the connection in a way because you're not really slowing down and allowing the both of you to get to know one another internally and emotionally and to build you know more of a connection someone here has their walls up but there's also if it's not that there's also the energy of there being opposition okay so seven of wands five of swords i mean knight of swords this is there is someone or something that is opposing this connection whether you know it or not it could be close connecting energies okay people could be getting in your ear or this person's ear and they're trying to break the two of you up okay they're trying to say that the both of you are no good for each other that this connection is not going to work and maybe there's an element of truth to it or maybe not who knows i mean i guess you will know right um, someone he could be jealous okay the reason why they could be saying such things is because they're jealous it's coming from a place of jealousy and insecurity it could be an ex it could be someone who's jealous of the both of you and what you have it could also be someone who is maybe their intentions are pure okay but and they just don't approve they don't approve of you for some reason they don't approve of the connection um, it could also be that they're looking out for this person and their welfare maybe the both of you have You've been through some things and unfortunately you, the both of you have, you know, you've hurt each other a lot and you've done it on a few t too many occasions and maybe this person is just trying to protect this person, trying to protect your person and their energy or even trying to protect you in the process as well. Um, what is the truth? Well, that's, that's, that's a good question because I don't know if you're getting the truth. I don't know that you're getting the truth. You could be getting parts of the truth but I don't know that you're getting the whole truth um, I also don't know if you're getting the truth at all because you know you've got the magician here alongside the seven of swords and you've got the five of swords I mean all the cards here are simply in combination with the energies they're simply implying that even you yourself even though you want to believe in the best 
you know, in this person and you want to believe in the best of this connection, even you yourself have your doubts. You have some sort of reservations. You have some sort of doubts or in the back of your mind, you have something that tells you that you can't trust this person or you can't trust how they feel or, you know, there's something there, some sort of intuitive association that you get around this person, around this situation that is making you really question things and doubt things here the magician i mean yeah it's a great card it's 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 positive but every card has both positive and you know both negative shadow aspects to it doesn't it and with the magician it is at the end of the day you know the magician is well he's a manipulator isn't he um he's a skilled manipulator he knows what he's doing and with this person they too know what they're doing okay so to me it feels like this person is somehow controlling they're somehow manipulating the connection they're trying to manipulate a certain outcome so maybe they're trying to get what they want um maybe they're manipulating your emotions maybe they're manipulating the truth here but to me it feels like you know especially alongside the seven of swords this is someone who knows what they're doing is wrong okay or someone who knows they're being um, dishonest, disingenuous, they're being, you know, they know they're not telling you the truth. They know that. But they are hoping to get away with it. Maybe they've gotten away with it before. Okay, maybe this is what they do, it's their thing. So it does feel like their intentions are not, may not be pure, may not be honest. They may be unfaithful to you emotionally or physically here intimately they could also be trying to keep their options open okay um you will know okay you will know if you're having doubts well you're having those doubts for a reason aren't you okay if you're having doubts and if you're feeling a certain vibe or a certain energy i mean energies don't lie do they words do absolutely but energy doesn't lie so if you're feeling a certain way guys you're feeling it for a reason probe that look into it um the other thing is before we go ahead and shift the, all the blame on them it could be you okay it could be a little bit of you it could be all of you because maybe you're the one maybe the deception lies with you okay maybe you're looking at the situation and you're deceiving yourself or well, how are you doing that Okay, well, you're looking at the situation and you're seeing it for what you want it to be, okay? Maybe there's been so many red flags in the connection, but you're seeing them as green. Or maybe this person has given you time and time again, they've broken your trust or they've given you reason not to trust them. But guess what? Each and every time you give them the benefit of the doubt, okay? Is that not deception? Absolutely, because you're deceiving into thinking this person is someone other than they seem or you're deceiving into thinking someone other than they are sorry or you're deceiving yourself into thinking this situation this relationship is or is going to be something other than what it actually is so you know the deceit the deception could lie with you and at the end of the day you know you're only going to get so far with these deceptions or these illusions of deception There is conflict. There's a lot of conflict in the energies. What you feel and what they feel, it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel like you guys are um, vibrationally matched, okay? It feels like there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of friction, there's a lot of conflict in the energies and in the, in, in the emotions as well. And things are happening very quickly or things have escalated very quickly between you and this person. And it does feel like there is someone or something else that is somehow getting, I don't know how they're involved, but they're just all of a sudden they've become involved. And I don't really know who this person is exactly for you or what business it is of theirs, but somehow they're involved and they're influencing this person. They are, they're diluting or they're influencing or they're impressing upon this person in what feels like a very big way because essentially this person is, you know, they're feeding off this person's energy or this opinion and they're kind of making it their own or they're kind of letting it influence their thoughts or their feelings. So the truth is there's a lot of tension and conflict that needs to be addressed, okay? And you can't sweep it under the rug. You can't pretend it's not there because it's not going to go away. You can try and pretend for a little while. You might have some luck doing it, but it's not going to go away, guys. It's not. So, you know, you need to be honest, you need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with them. Okay, what is it that you want from out of this connection? 
Can they give you that? What type of person do you want? Do they fit that mold? Okay. Do they have the qualities, the traits, the positive characteristics that you admire within the partner? Can they meet your needs, your expectations? Can you meet theirs? Okay. So the truth is you guys need to discover the truth. You guys need to, because there's not a lot of truth happening, not a lot of truth, true talk happening, is there? There's a lot of lies, deceit, ma manipulating, you know, putting an image out there that isn't necessarily true to what they think and feel of this connection. Um, all right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.